sangat baik. Hey love, welcome to the Shy Love Radio Show. It's your girl Melanie Hogan with Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. We're going to let that marinate for a moment and we'll be back after this segment. I just get the brick across, take it to the block. block. My shorties know I've been a boss, been a boss. Chemo, sabe, hard body. In that jam, so long, no body. Most niggas a foe, foe. I done did a block, block. Most niggas in tow, tow. When, when is they be hot, hot? Hey, love. Welcome to the Shy Love Radio Show. We'll pop radio worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. I'm home. It's Monday, y'all. We got through another weekend. Four more days to Friday. So, if you missed last week, we had special guests from the movie Magic by Billy Ray Valentine. We were accompanied by Shantae Renee, Tennille Jones, James Lett III, and Eric Mays. The movie is a, based on a true story about the life of Billy Ray Valentine growing up in Inglewood. There are many messages that the people here in Chicago can uh, take from it and apply to their own life. This movie will be released February 28, 2020. I'll be reminding you throughout the months so that you can go and pick it up when it's released. So I'm going to let you marinate on that right now. Again, the movie is Magic, M-A-G-I-C by Billy Ray Valentine. And we'll be back with the Shy Love Radio at Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium in a moment. Welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show. It's your girl Melanie here at the Pop Radio Worldwide with iHeart Radio and Spotify Premium. So, we were just talking about what was going on last week and I gave a small synopsis about the magic movie uh, directed and produced by Billy Ray Valentine. It's released February 28th, 2020. Now, we just passed um, Halloween. So let's talk about masks. What mask do you really wear? Do you wear a mask? Now we are all taught in one form or another to wear a mask depending on the situation. Mm. For example, when we're at school or um, at church or outside in public, we are taught not to behave as we would in public like we are in the house. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you wear a mask. I'm talking about the type of mask to where you are a totally different person than what is perceived by you on the outside. How many people do we know wear a mask? Plenty. So let's talk about why people wear masks. Unhappiness with self is one of the main reasons why people wear masks these days. You don't know who you are. You are conditioned to believe that you are a certain way and you like certain things and you don't like others. But what I would recommend is that you go on a voyage to get to know yourself. Learn who you are. Ask simple questions. Why am I engaging in this activity? Do I like it? Why do I like it? I don't like it. Why don't I like it? Was I taught not to like it? And why? Those are some questions that you can begin to ask yourself so that you can go on the voyage of getting to know who you are, to tap into your God self, and not just be an agent here on this matrix plane. Now that we have, now that I know that I have your attention, 
let's continue to go into not only who we are here on this earthly plane, but how are we connected to one another within the entire universe? We were taught that because of your color or skin orientation or um, your location or your economic status, that you were set apart. And that is what does make us individuals. But there is a foundation of the same energy. We were all created by the same energy. We all have a lot of similarities. And once we start to understand ourselves, we can understand each other better. We can understand why a person can possibly um, react the way that they're reacting to a situation because we know how it is when we are vibrating low ourselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we people wear these masks and forget that they're sinning or making mistakes or bad decisions, whatever it is that you want to call it. But it exists. And when we're sitting in our glow, a lot of times we don't understand how somebody, um, you know, slept with someone younger or uh, I'm just going to just be drastic here, murder somebody or rape somebody. Because you're, you can't phantom um, where you would have to go inside of your mind to go to that place. There are times when we are affected by different energies and different situations that put us in those mindsets that prompt us to engage the way that we are engaging. Now we're not going to call it right or wrong, we're going to look at it for what it is. So after we accept and hold ourselves accountable for our behavior, for the characteristics that sums up whatever um, title or whatever conviction that the police want to put on you <laughs> based on it. Okay, let's accept that. Now, let's find out why. What is it about me? What happened to me? What did I hear about from somebody else? What did I see happen to somebody else? It all shapes us into who we are to this day. And unfortunately, we have been reconditioned, we have been conditioned to um, so many foods and elements that just drain us as people drain us in our God spirit. And we're walking around here zombie-like. And it's like a video game. But unfortunately, these lives not coming back once you hit the reset button. So sometimes... Yes, the world may seem like it's messed up. And granted, there are a lot of messed up things that happen. But your perception and your reaction to what is happening around you can actually set off another shift to start to change things around. Or can come back around and help somebody else later. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about masks since it was Halloween time. And speaking of Halloween, you missed the Shiloh Wings event on 71st and Eggleston. We had the Shiloh Pantry there and we had shoes and clothing and resources to distribute, which we did. Um, and we also had the Shiloh Clean Block Project on 71st and Eggleston. So what was once a forest growing in the middle of the block, um, especially in an area with so many Chiracians, and how you all make songs about not lacking and allow your neighborhood to grow a forest in the middle of the block boggles my mind. Cause that's a that's if that ain't lacking, I don't know what is. <laughs> so you're welcome. And it's out of love. Lifestyle difference or not, I still want my people to be safe. Uh, myself and my children live in that area. So we all have a part to play in society. We can't always sit back and wait for somebody else to um, initiate something that we know needs to be done. And hold on, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna let that marinate. This is the Shy Love Radio Show. 
at Pop Radio Worldwide with iHeartRadio and Spotify Premium. We'll be back in a second. They be hot, hot summers, they be cold. Had a sauce it up a lot. Since niggas think I'm on really story ever told. Told bricks on the stove. stove. Got the mail bow. Very well known. No. They don't know the half. half. Breaking down half. Working on my math. math. They can't walk my path. Can't walk my path. Keep on sobbing. Hard body. In my hey love, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show. It's your girl Melanie here at Pop. Radio Worldwide with iHeartRadio and Spotify Premium. Now we were just talking about wearing masks and dwelling into who we really are. Going on that journey, journey to find out who we are. And I must tell you that it's a ever-present, forever-going journey. There's not one point where you just, aha. But you will get closer and, to, closer and closer to it the more and more you pay more attention to yourself to find out what you respond to, what you don't respond to, and look into the reasons of why. So here we were also talking about in Chicago um, the conditioning, especially in the urban neighborhoods of people who live these savage-like lives, who walk around tough all the time. I tell my children a lot of times those are the scariest ones. You must feel some type of fear if you feel that you can't even, you're not comfortable just smiling, of, of feeling comfortable being yourself. You feel like you have to protect yourself with this stern face and, uh, you know, abrasive body language. And a lot of those people, unfortunately, seek death in one form or another. Because look at the land of work that you're in. You're putting your life on the line. Is it something in you that truly wants to die, but you don't want to pull the trigger yourself? So any event that you do want to pull the trigger, I don't want you to. You can contact the suicide hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Again, reach out for help. There is someone here at one 800 273-8255. So um, I want to tell you all about the PTSD workshops that we are having uh, coming up on November the 14th. We have Shy Love PTSD workshops through my Shy Love Family Independence Initiative program. Because there are so many people here in Chicago who don't know what PTSD is, who don't realize that they have been affected by some sort of trauma. A lot of people just assume that it is um, that you have to go and fight in the military type of war. And unfortunately, there's war on Chicago streets like every day. So you can receive trauma by, you can experience trauma by something that happened to you. You can experience it by something tragic that you heard about. You can experience it by something that you saw. So you all are more than welcome to come help and heal whatever part of you or even just come to find out um, if you are affected by trauma and how much so. And when dealing with trauma and dealing with healing, there is a, a healing tactic is gratefulness, thankfulness. And what better month to talk about thankfulness than November for Thanksgiving holiday. It's the time of holidays here in Chicago. I used to love the holiday season. I still love it. It warms my heart. When I was younger, all the houses would be decorated and the snow would be on the ground and it would just be a warm feeling, you know, even though it was cold outside. Our generation of children don't really have that uh, anymore. A lot of times people have to make sure they have somebody with them shopping because during this time of year is when the robberies go up. So please be careful, especially in the... 79th, uh, 87th, uh, Madison. We just be careful in certain areas during this season. Because unfortunately, people are 
And in, in their eyes, it's out of love because they don't have it to provide for their family. So I'm going to say that they love their people enough to go and take from somebody else mm -hmm. to make sure that they can be happy. I understand that. But just out of consideration of others and, uh, you know, using these things that we got brains and the hustling spirit that Chicago has, perhaps um, we can do some crowdfunding or something for that type of situation so that you're not putting somebody else's family and putting frowns and, and tears in, in somebody else's household because you choose to do for your own. So being grateful and counting what you do have despite looking at what you don't have. And we, you can have realistic needs, like dire needs. And it's not taken away from that. But when you vibrate low, you think low. When you think low, you start to behave low. Here comes a whole cycle of lowness. Breathing is a good step. When you feel yourself feeling frustrated, take a deep breath. Blow it out. I mean, take a deep breath, and while you're inhaling, let your stomach fill up. And while you're exhaling, you should feel your stomach pressing back towards your back. Blow it out. And then think about, is there another way to handle a certain situation? You may not be living where you want to live, but you have somewhere to go, even if somebody else's name is on the list. That's something to be grateful for. <coughs> There's people on Lower Wacker Drive, uh, these tent cities over there by Roosevelt. I mean, people are legit sleeping in doorsteps or on the, on the sidewalks on our city streets. So there's always something to be grateful for. You may not have what you want to eat, but you have something to eat. Something to give you enough energy to get to make that next move. Same thing with shoes or clothing. You may not have the name brand stuff that everybody has. That's not what makes you as a person anyway. But if you got somebody who loves you, Somebody who reaching out to uh, check on you, uh, even if it's not who you want to love you, even if it's not who you want to reach out and check on you, it's somebody there. It could be a stranger. Those are all things to be grateful for. Your phone is working. Uh, you know, you, you, we have transportation. Even if you don't have a car, you got legs. Let's get up to it. So being grateful is one of the ways of healing. And yes, my degree, my major was psychology at DePaul University. Yes. But I'm not just coming to you with textbook stuff. I'm from Chicago. I'm from the West Side. I'm from K-Town. I'm from Holy City. I'm from South Shore. I'm from Inglewood. I know about it. So I am not going to tell anybody to try anything unless I have tried it. And if I haven't, I know it worked for somebody else, I'm going to say, well, I heard this was a good technique. Perhaps you should try it and let me know if it worked for you. So we're going to do this together. We're going into 2020. We need to do some reconditioning as a people. We need to look into love and stop making it such a horrible thing. <laughs> it is the unhealthy love that hurts. Unhealthy love that hurts. But life has growing pains. Whoever came up with that term, that was perfect. Because <laughs> when you're conditioned to live life a certain way and something new is introduced into your life to help you make the changes that you want to make, to help you get to where you really want to be, 
you do have to understand that in order to get to where you really want to be, you're going to have to recondition a lot of things about yourself. You're going to have to engage some discipline. Certain stuff that was yes going to have to be a no and vice versa. And it's a process. And don't be too hard on yourself. But you can do it. And you can take it step by step. And if you fall, that's okay. Congratulate yourself for the steps that you have taken. Look yourself in that mirror. Get back up. Because it's on you. Your part is on you. Some people are satisfied just knowing that somebody made it. And not themselves. I don't know, I'm just not that type of person. I know that I have a specific purpose. Your mother did not go through what she went through to bring you into this world for you to just simply exist and perhaps cause chaos. There's a divine plan. You are more powerful than you realize. Despite who told you that you're not, I'm telling you that you are. And you don't even know me. But I can see your God self. I can see the light. Start to get to know yourself. And you can see the light in yourself. To know that you have purpose. And you have reason to be thankful. And because of your purpose and your presence. You are giving other people. You giving other people reasons to be thankful. Because we all impact each other whether we realize it or not. Somebody could just be riding past and we're outside doing something and all of a sudden they think that's cool and now they're replicating your behavior. Now with the behavior that they're replicating because of what they saw for you, is it going to elevate them in life? Or is somebody possibly going to jail or getting killed? Are we going to have another mother out here crying? If you knew what a woman goes through when she becomes a vessel of life. Just on the strength of your mama alone, you'll do better. But this is all love here. And I'm, I'm talking to you because I love you. And I don't have to know you to love you. I know that you wanted me and I love me, so why not love me, right? We're going to do some great things here. Everybody that is here in Chicago is here for a reason. Everybody has a purpose. We say that we want better. We have it. We got it. It takes some time. I understand too about the people who are uh, just sitting back and watching to see what's going to happen when other people get out there. Those are usually the people who talk the most mess and sit on the sidelines. But once you see that it's starting to develop, and it is developing, I don't know if you all been paying attention to the changes being made here in Chicago, but they're happening. People are already want better. And people are building up and moving to better, towards better. What are you going to do? You have to also understand that we're in Chicago. What we do with Dead Way here? What are we going to do? I'm going to let that marinate. We're going to return to love here at the Shy Love Radio Show with Pop Radio. That's my man's <laughs> iHeart Radio and Spotify Premium in a moment. Shorties know I've been 
a boss, been a boss. Chemo, sabe, hard body. In that jam, so long, no body. God damn, that boy. Welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show here at Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. It was wonderful talking to you all today. And speaking of Thanksgiving, you all should hit up Hojo. It's a family assistance program. They're giving out food on Saturdays and Mondays, look like. You can call them at 773-851-82855. Again, that number is 773-851-2855. See, they have for themselves and they have abundance to bless others. That's how it goes on this universal realm. You give, you receive. You're grateful, you receive. You ask for it, you receive. Now, Know that in between the asking and the receiving, there may be steps and you may actually have to do something. Like if you ask for a job, you actually have to search for the job, get your resume together, apply for the job, address appropriately for the interview, pass the interview, and bada boom, bada bang it. So sometimes there are processes to certain things when you're saying ask and receive. Because I've heard a lot of people become discouraged about that actually. So I just wanted to uh, clear it up. But uh, yes. Bless you. Bless you. Look, up, uh, look up Hojo Family Assistance yes. Program. They are distributing food. And we can all use some extra food, right? Uh, whether, you, whether it's through Link or Cash, you can always receive some extra food. <laughs> And then we have, you need additional food anyway because it's Thanksgiving. This is the month to be grateful, to love your life, love yourself, start to prepare your mind for what steps you're on, you are going to take in 2020. Stop saying, I want to, start saying, I am. Let's get it done. Now, again, uh, I will be giving you all more information on the Shy Love PTSD workshop uh, coming in the second week of uh, November. Um, Shy Love is going to also try to do, see, not try, Shy Love is going to do a food uh, drive. Around Thanksgiving time, so that I can feed those in Inglewood and the surrounding areas, and whoever from Chicago. Anything that is from Shy Love is all inclusive to everybody in Chicago. I don't care what rep you you uh, what set you rep. None of that means anything to me. When you're in Shy Love's presence, it's all love. It's all neutral territory. So all are very welcome to anything that Shy Love is doing. I enjoy talking to you all today. I enjoy uh, returning home, unfortunately. No, fortunately, I have more than one home. So I will be back home next week, loves. The Shy Love Radio Show is sponsored by Shy Love LLC. The CEO and founder of Shy Love LLC is me, Melanie Helgen. So thanks for spending this hour with me here at the Shy Love Radio Show. Whips, Colombian dime piece right at my hip. Told me I wouldn't make it. No way I'd win. Try to fucking bury me. Throw me back in. No way I ain't going. Always going in. Never turning back. Always watch my back. Jungle full of monkeys, but I'm a silver back. Do do it for my hand day. Do it for the streets. Hey love, thanks for tuning in today to the Shy Love Radio Show with Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium.